Hi, I'm Shailene. As a mom and a registered dietitian, I love to throw a roast in the oven or in the slow cooker. It's a great way to bring a healthy and hearty meal to the table. And today I'm here with Chef Dave, our beloved beef expert, to answer some of our most common roasting questions that we get from our beefitswhatsfordinner.com community. Lay them on me, Shailene. All right, let's tackle the first one, Dave. Um, my very first question is, I absolutely love roast, but every time I make one, it can turn out too dry or too tough. What are your best tips for making a roast that just melts in your mouth? I'm going to make it simple, Shailene. Follow two Good, simple like rules, simple. okay? Uh, and the first rule I'm gonna, we're going to talk about is dry heat cooking, okay? Which is perfect for cuts like tenderloin, tri-tip, uh, sirloin. Okay. And what we do is, is that we place a rack in a shallow pan, place our roast on that rack. And if you don't have one of these, I strongly recommend you get it. It's an oven-proof meat thermometer. Okay. Stick it in to the center thickest part of the roast, not touching bone or fat. Now you told me not to touch bone or fat. Tell reason, me about that. Reason for that is, is because it, you'll get an inaccurate read on, on your uh, temperature. Okay. They roast between 325 and 425 degrees, depending on the roast. If you visit beefitswhatsfordinner.com, we have all our roasting guidelines uh, on there for you. So you just do it like that? You don't just add like, anything to it? No water, because if we add water or we cover it, we, we're changing the cooking method to a uh, steaming or a wet, uh, moist heat cooking method, which I think we're gonna talk yeah, about next. Yeah, let's talk about that. Okay, I've got uh, our second cooking, or roasting method rather, is moist heat cooking, all right? And we do that for our less tender cuts, usually coming from the chuck and round, like a shoulder pot roast or a bottom round roast. Okay. Uh, our first step is to add a little oil to the pan and brown our ground beef, which you can see we've, or brown our beef, which we've already done. Okay, now I've got my veggies cooking, and what we're gonna do now is add our beef back to the pan, and I didn't want to go in there. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to uh, add our, our cooking liquid, and today I'm using low sodium beef broth. Okay? I appreciate that because you've got all the great nutrition of the Ab beef and the veggies absolutely. there too. So we're just going to pour this in, we're going to bring it to a boil, then we're going to reduce our heat, cover it, and let it simmer for about two hours. And our doneness test here is until the meat is fork tender. Okay. That's great. So you've got two hours to do whatever you want to do now, Shane. And you call this a moist heat cooking this method. This is a moist heat cooking method, Because yes. one of the questions that we also get a lot of is what's the difference between slow cooking and a slow cooker? Okay, the results are the same. You're always going to get flavorful, tender beef, either method. This is a slow cooking method. That is a slow cooker, the device. And I certainly recognize it because it's something that is always out on the countertop in my house. But one of the things that I struggle with is I tend to always do the same thing. A roast, um, some carrots, potatoes, and mushrooms. Can you give me some ideas for how we might jazz it up in the house? Well, my simple philosophy is if whatever you're doing in that slow cooker puts smiles on your family's faces. And, and it, they does, love it, it and, does. And they love it, then stay what you're doing. But there are some ways we can get some more flavor in there right at the end. For example, when you come home from work, you can add a little bit of uh, fresh broccolini or a broccoli slaw, some peas, baby carrots, just a good way to kind of uh, jazz the meal up, get some more veggies in there f uh, for, the, for yeah. the kids. I and like that, more flavor and more yeah. nutrition. Or go with uh, maybe a Mexican twist or an Asian twist by adding a little mm -hmm. soy or some salt and that kind of thing. Boy, those are some great tips for getting the most of the roast. Do you have some other tips for us as well? I sure do. For all to know, before you go, visit beefitswitzerdinner.com.